Hi, I'm Heather North from heatherscreativeblessings.com. I am here with a bullet journal planner video, and I thought I would show you a comparison of some of the ones that I have on hand. The first one here is the Moleskine A5 planner. It is the perfect size to fit in your purse. I loved it. It was my very first bullet journal planner. I've got my word of the year in front. Um, it's soft, it's easy to transport, but because I use this so much for my business, I wasn't quite having enough room. So I graduated to the Leuchtturm 1917B5 planner. Both planners are very similar. They're both dotted. I find that to be my favorite. Um, it's just that the B5 is a much larger size. Now I also, when I was shopping for a new planner, I came across this Leuchtturm 1917 2017 weekly planner and notebook and I wanted to show you this size comparison here the moleskin or the A5 size on top with the weekly planner in the middle and then my B5s on the bottom as you can see it's in between the two sizes it's slightly larger than the moleskin but it's a lot smaller than the B5 and this is a really good option if you don't want to write out all of your um, calendars so just like the other Leuchtturm planners, it comes with a band and then it comes with a couple of little pamphlets explaining um, about the journals and the different products that they offer. One of the things I noticed right away was the difference between the B5 planner and that weekly planner. My B5 has a soft cover and this weekly planner has a hard bound cover. The first page is basically a title page. Um, and then included in the back here is a sample page of their grid and ruled lines. It also has this pocket in the back for storing uh, different items. You could uh, put your labels in there, appointment cards, um, coupons, postcards, whatever you want. And then it has this sticker label sheet um, that I'm putting in the back right now. This you can use to label your planner. So you can put a label on the front, the back, the binding. Um, really wherever you wanted to. And then something different with this planner that I haven't had before is an address book. Um, you could do a perpetual calendar in here um, and then you've got a place for your addresses. Now I probably won't use this as an address book but I think this would be a great place to keep track of the different websites I visit, the different logins and passwords. Um, this might be a really handy thing to have in a planner. This planner comes with two ribbon bookmarks, so you can keep track of where you're at weekly as well as monthly. Um, it has the first page, like I said, it was a title page. Um, and then it's got 2016, 2017, and 2018 calendars. It's really nice to have on hand. The next few pages are my monthly, so we've got all the days of the month. You can put your appointments in here. Um, birthdays, it's got the moon phases, and then after that is international holidays. So it's got several different countries across the top of the page with the dates and then the months going down the sides of the page. So you can see at a glance when Thanksgiving falls this year or things like that. Um, and then after that is a project planner. This is new for me too. So it's got all of the months and then it's got lines for different um, things you might need to do for your projects as well as the dates across the top. And from there, we move into the weekly. So it starts at the end of December into January, um, all the days of the week. And on one side, on the left, and then on the right is just ruled pages so that you can, uh, you can do whatever you want, really, with that. So this is a great option if you don't want to do a whole lot of um, drawing out the dates and things in your planner, but you still want the flexibility to be able to doodle or write your to-do list or um, uh, just add anything that might be specific to what you need in your own planner. In the very back of the planner are about 10 or so pages that are just blank, so you can do whatever you want with that. I thought I would show you another quick look at the differences. This is the hardbound cover, and you can see it doesn't have a lot of flex to it versus my regular B5 planner and the way it just kind of bends and moves. Same with the Moleskine planner that I used at the beginning of 2016. Now I'm going to move on to my Leuchtturm 1917 B5 dotted journal and I will show you the inside of it in case you've never seen it before. It comes with the same band around it and this elastic 
cover to hold it in place and hold everything in it once you put papers and stuff inside. It also has the little pamphlets telling you about the company and the different things that they offer. The first page has a place for your name and address. It has two ribbons to separate different areas that you might want to keep track of. And the sticker sheet that's in the back pocket that you can use to label the front, the back, or the spine of your planner. From there we have an index or a table of contents. And then it moves into the dotted pages. You have 121 pages to work with. And the last five or so are perforated so that you can tear them out of your planner. I just finished uh, filming the video on how I set up my bullet journal planner and I'm editing it and I'll have that up for you very soon. So be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see that as soon as it goes live. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more from me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.